guys, welcome back to the channel. Marley and I are out here in the mountains and we set up a bug out camp. And the reason for that is we're testing the new Black Bunker BM-8 survival rifle. Um, this is a very unique air rifle. I've got this in 22 caliber. And later on, we're gonna hike around with it, see how it carries, um, do a little bit of hunting with it, and really just try to learn a little more about this gun. As you guys can see, this thing is pretty compact. It comes in at just about seven and a half pounds. And I've never seen um, a gun fold this way. It is very unique to this gun. Um, they've done a very good job of, you know, incorporating this, this box here. Now this does have two caps on here that's uh, got a bungee cord and that's to cover the muzzle and the breech end. And so what you'll want to do is remove that and then uh, it's got just this little latch right here and you can push that and that's gonna release the, the barrel and that's gonna allow you to pull this box out of here. And this is the cocking arm and you can see there's a magnet that holds that back. Now on a normal brake barrel, um, this is attached. You cannot you know, do this with a, a normal brake barrel. And so they've made it to where this will lock in place. It's got a little locking mechanism back here. You lock that and then you can fold the buttstock. This is a very nice box. It is well made, it's waterproof. It does have a rubber gasket that goes around inside. And this also has the instructions on how to get this back um, into the rifle once it's folded. Um, once you open this up, you can see in here, it does have that rubber gasket. And you can pull the, the padding out if you wanted to give yourself a bit more room. I've just got some pellets, I've got a moderator, and uh, this gun does have half inch threading, so you can add a moderator on here. Um, and I will say it doesn't make a huge difference, but I did notice um, it did quiet the gun just a little bit. And if you were gonna add a moderator on this, I'd suggest going with something that's not a very large diameter because it's gonna obscure um, your front sight post here. And there you have it, a full length rifle. And it is very comfortable, it's got nice weight to it. It feels sturdy, feels well made. Um, the top Picatinny rail is composite. Um, this shroud that's kind of over the barrel here is composite. Um, you can adjust your rear sight here. And the one thing that I did notice is um, black on black isn't great. Um, so I'd probably add maybe some uh, white marker or maybe some orange on the front here. So you get a nice bead um, in those low light conditions. But you can mount a scope on here. So if you wanted to bring um, a scope with you in your bag, you could definitely do that. But I just really like how this folds. Um, very easy to open up and, you know, configure back into, um, you know, folded rifle. And so they have done a very nice job. Very, very easy to get together. And this does have an automatic safety. It's right here. Um, all the way forward is fire. Every time you cock this, it's, the safe is gonna go on. And so that is kind of a nice feature, um, but it's something um, you may have to get used to, especially if you're hunting. Prior to getting out in the field, I wanted to test the gun with various pellets. It's really important to do that. The company claims 1,000 feet per second with alloy pellets, but to achieve good accuracy and to keep the gun a bit quieter, I settled in on the 18.67 grain brimstone pellets put out by Umarex. These were producing about 20 foot-pounds and I was getting good accuracy at 25 yards. The cocking effort on this gas piston brake barrel wasn't bad at all and the gun had a fairly tame shot cycle. 
Now that we've taken a closer look at the performance, I want to get this out. We'll do some hiking with it. I want to see how it shoulders, how it carries, and we're going to do a little bit of rabbit hunting. Now I'm not expecting to get anything because this particular area is very difficult, but it does very closely mimic, you know, a survival situation. And so I just want to get it out, at least attempt to use it. And that way I'll get a better idea of just how the gun feels, how it shoulders, and how we're able to maneuver it quickly um, out here in the field. When you're in a survival situation, you don't want to be putting in a ton of work hiking up, you know, the ridge lines. And so I just try to stick um, to the flat areas and minimize how much work I've really got to put into it. I'm going to get some bunnies. You see them? Are there bunnies? The worst part about survival is there's no guarantees. All you can do is the best with what you have. And that's why it's so important to get out and practice with your gear. So when you do have an opportunity, um, you're just a little more prepared for the situation. The rules of survival are very simple. Take what you can get, and today it was time to find water and some form of substance out here in this rugged wilderness. So we got a good sized jackrabbit and thankfully he was fairly close. He was about 25 yards. I had spotted him running down through this flat area. And so I was looking for him to stop. And sure enough, he stopped and he was hunkered down um, in between some sagebrush. One of the reasons I like to hunt these areas that are fairly flat is you're not burning a lot of calories, you know, hiking up into the mountains. And there's a little bit more visibility, so you can see movement. Um, in some cases, I'll try to get up a little higher, um, but for the most part, you know, I try to stay on flat ground. The Black Bunker survival rifle did its job. Um, it looks as though it went right here in the neck area, and he dropped. There's no doubt, you know, this would help sustain us for, you know, a day or two out here in the wilderness.
Corey and I had a really nice couple days out in the field getting to test out the Black Bunker BM8 survival rifle. Um, this is a very unique gun. As far as I know, this is the first air rifle that's really been marketed um, towards um, survival type gear. I like the fact that it, it comes with this box um, you know, that folds up into the gun itself. It's easy to carry, it's easy to pack into my Jeep. I have my own ideas on what I would pack in here. You know, I just use the pellet tin and moderator as an example, but I'm curious to hear from you guys. You know, what would you guys put in here for a survival situation? The gun has a good amount of power. It's not overpowering like some of the Magnums that I've used. Um, it's got a nice controllable shot cycle. And I felt pretty confident out there with open sights. Um, I think my only constructive criticism to them would be to add a metal Picatinny rail. I added a scope on here just so you guys could kind of see what it looks like with one. Um, this one has the quick disconnects, um, so you can just pull it off. I think if you're going to add a scope, um, this would be the way to go. And it would give you, you know, probably a bit more range um, than you'd be capable of doing with the open sights. Um, at least um, that's kind of how I see it. But I think in a survival situation, I would probably just use it with the open sights. And it, and it worked well for me. And, you know, the price point. Um, I think these retail for about $279. I think that's more than fair for what this offers. Um, it seems to be well built. It's a sturdy gun. It's a bit heavy, um, but I'd rather have that um, than something, you know, light um, with a really flimsy stock. Um, this is well made. It's um, pretty good composite material. You know, I think it's a pretty good gun for those of you that are preppers into survival gear or you just want something that you can easily you know keep in your vehicle um, for when you're out camping or or hiking any of that stuff but let me know in the comments what you guys think I, I really appreciate pyramid air sending us this and being able to sponsor us to get out and show you guys this video i hope you were able to learn enough i appreciate it I will leave links in the description to all the gear that we used and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. If you guys enjoy these videos, give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you like. We put out new videos every week. I appreciate it and we'll see you on the next one.